No, this is not on Xbox. <laughs> this is on PC. So this is The Good Life, another game that's on Game Pass because I am going to use it while I have it. <laughs> so this is on PC. And um, excuse me if I get the buttons mixed up because I'm so used to playing the Switch. In the Xbox, A and B buttons are reversed. So <laughs> if that happens, um, I apologize. I don't really know anything about this game except that it's supposed to be super weird. So let's do it. Also, it's kind of expensive. It's like 40 bucks. Um, but it is on Game Pass, so there you go. Milk that Game Pass? I will. In fact, I will. One day, by a stroke of luck, a poor orphan named Dick Whittington found himself a cat. The two became close, and the cat proved very useful, working awfully hard for him. Before long, Whittington came to treasure the cat as an irreplaceable ally. And, sure enough, after he offered the cat to a merchant ship, Whittington suddenly acquired a massive fortune. This changed Whittington's life forever. But Whittington didn't simply use that fortune for his own benefit. He paid it back to the many people who had helped him over the years. Such philanthropy, coupled with his honest character, led him to marrying a wonderful wife. In time, he was even elected Lord Mayor of London. This is the story of Dick Whittington and his cat, one every good Brit knows well. Um, okay. However, whatever happened to the cat once it had brought good old Whittington all his copper and joy, you ask? Well, nobody seems to know. Not even Dick Whittington himself. Are you telling me Dick lost his pussy? Listen, the joke was there. It had to be made. I'm sorry. You guys know what you're getting into when you come to the stream. <laughs> Listen, you can't dangle a dick joke in front of me and not expect me to say it. <laughs> All right, that's just a truck full of sheep. Demonetized. Lulu 2.0? No. Never again. Well, this is it. Rainy Woods. The way you'd want to come here. They used to call it the happiest town in the world. But that was over 30 years ago. Now I hear it's just fallen to bats and full of weirdos. Great. If I say you're after, you'd be better off heading somewhere like... He is staring at her ass. Trust me. Uh-oh. The alone, lag is real. Enjoy your holiday, then. We may have to... We may have to go faceless for this one. What a hellhole. Okay. This is Naomi Haywood. I mean, a same. photographer from New York. Now, why would someone like Naomi? Hi, come Dilly. To this far I don't know. <laughs> because of all the interesting things to photograph, of course. That's the official line, anyway. Her true reasons lie elsewhere. A certain client has asked Naomi to investigate a secret. The secret of Dick. And she's hoping this job will help her escape a colossal mountain of debt. Who is this client? Well, 
That'll become clear soon enough. Let's just see what happens next, shall we? I I guess. Well then. I'm concerned about the ready? lag. All right, it seems okay now. Ah! Don't they have pest control around here? How did you the got bird any idea poop? how much these sunglasses cost? Goddamn hellhole. It's not like on her head. How did it hit the front of her sunglasses? Welcome to Rainy Woods. This is the happiest Why does town everyone have in dick world? in their name? I have questions about it. I'd like to have you here. All right, we're, we're going to have to go faceless. The the lag is 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 happening. My computer's going to explode. All right, hang on. All right, we'll see if this is better. I turned down the like I turned it to medium so it wasn't so I don't know. But this game is trying to kill my computer, so. This town is saturated in dicks. Tim and Katana, thank you for the clip. All right. Uh, been waiting for you ever since I received word that you'd be arriving in our town today. The master manipulator strike again. Beg your pardon? I wasn't talking to you, girl. Man, she's a bitch. Girl. Anyway, girl. Girl. You know where I can find a place to stay around here? Somewhere that's got a clean tub, Wi-Fi, room service. Don't you worry, Miss Hayward. I've got your house all sorted for you. My house? That's right, no room service, I'm afraid, but it does have a lovely garden. You can use the internet there, too. How novel. Hey, if you think you can rip me off, you're barking up the wrong tree. Oh my. Rip you off, you're a funny one, Miss Hayward. That house is a gift to you from our town. A gift? Yes, a gift. Just what are you scheming, huh? <laughs> Tee hee. Scheming? Why, nothing at all, of course. But it doesn't make any sense. Why would you give a free house to someone you don't even know? This is a scam, that's what this is. This is Rainy Woods, the happiest town in the world. We welcome everyone who comes to visit us here. What's more, I heard that you'll be staying with us for quite some time. Forever. In which case, it's only proper that you get your own house to rest in at night now, isn't it? But still. Oh, that's right. I've also already had your belongings collected from Town Hall and delivered to the house. How about heading there now so you can get yourself sorted? I'm sure you'll love it. You know, you're pushier than I thought. Tee hee. Well, I am the one in charge of our town hall. Anyway, as I said before, welcome to Rainy Woods. I'm getting a cult feeling from this now. Um, yeah, this seems very culty. <laughs> This is the happiest town in the world. Please accept my heartfelt welcome and make yourself at home. Hmm. Seems pretty sus to me. The destination icon displayed on your screen is your current destination. Head toward it in order to proceed with the story. Uh, okay. Home is where you make it, question mark. Right. I need faster travel. I am slow. Mushroom and Evans Cafe Restaurant. Grocery and Butcher Shop. Lemon cheese! No! The answer is no. No lemon cheese. I'm taking this. This is mine now. Goodbye. I, I can't go faster, so I am a very... What is this? Why is there an arrow here? Well. No, oh, he, oh, he's running. He's running away. Can I put this on top of the... No, wait, no, wait, no, no. Damn it. Okay. It is done. Well. Um. I, I made this happen. Sir, come back! Oh, I can't pick him up. Um... Sir, 
<laughs> Sir. <laughs> this is this is quite amazing, actually. Ah. <laughs> Good God, Keto, we just started and you broke the game already. Right bumper might work. Oh, that does nothing. Look, okay, this is without, this is with. That is the, that, that, that's a very small difference. Also, I have stamina. Why do I have stamina? I didn't ask for this. It's more if you aren't caring. Listen, I need to steal this. This is very integral to the story. That girl's really giving me an entire house as a welcome present. I'm not dumb enough to believe this, but now I'm really curious. I guess it can't hurt to stop by and take a look at the place. Where did the flowers go? I was trying to be a thief. Hi, Red. What fresh hell is this? That's a very good question. I'm sure you'll love it. She's got some nerve. It's all dirty. The garden's a mess. This place is even more of a dump than I expected it to be. And it's not even close to the town. I'm in the backwoods. Within the backwoods. Jeez. Jeez. This is why you can never trust anyone who gives you something for free. But I guess on the bright side, it'll give me total <laughs> privacy. Considering the reasons I came out to this godforsaken place, it might be the perfect hideout. The guy who directed Deadly Premonition Seriously? created this game. Yeah, hence why it's weird. <laughs> Thank you guys for the clip. Oh, well, at least I have a computer from 1997. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Potato. A root vegetable that's practically a national food in some regions. It can be served on the side or even as the main dish cookable. Potato seeds. Potato seeds that I could plant in my garden. Okay. Time for a little cooking. I'm going to cook this potato. Maybe I can't. Oh, I can. I will make this potato. Woohoo, critical success. Eating food repeatedly at cafes and pubs will allow you to learn how they're supposed to taste. Once you learn a recipe, you can cook up the dish in your home kitchen or at any outdoor kitchen. Okay. I have this potato now. Um. Okay. I have a hunger meter? Are you kidding me? Let me die. I'll starve. I'm gonna leave that potato there for when I need it. So, damn, slow. First things first, I need to check and see if my client sent me anything. Um. Okay. Magic and mushrooms? Do you know the witch's forest on the west side of town? Some people say that an honest-to-goodness witch lives deep inside, but could, a, could such a spine-tingling rumor be true? Well, this is Rainy Woods, a town full of happiness where anything can happen. Are they all on drugs here? And if you're not spellbound by tales of witches and witchcraft, the forest is also a good place to try mushroom picking. We promise it's more fun than that weird teacher you had in secondary school made it sound. So throw on your anorak and give it a go. Pick responsibly. Eating random mushrooms willy-nilly could lead to a less than magical experience. Be sure to take them to a restaurant and ask the cook there to prepare them for you. All right. Can I unsubscribe? You are automatically subscribed to the Rainy Woods Info Hub upon moving to Rainy Woods. The moment you open this email, you're assumed to have agreed to our terms and conditions and private policy. I did not. I did not. 
This week's gourmet spotlight. Treat yourself to the ultimate mushroom cuisine. Throw back one at the top pub in Rainy Woods. If you've got a hankering for a shroomy dish, then head over to Mushroom and Evans, where their meals are curated by the town's very own genius cook and mushroom maniac. I feel like they're putting a lot of drugs in the food. That's my... It, I think it's a cult, and I think that they are they're putting something in the in the food <laughs> and that something is mushrooms they'll question their legality when the mushrooms dance across your palate like the jewels of the forest they are mm. a word from the chef good grief i'll have a mountain of mushroom pasta and piping hot pies waiting for you so pop in any time great Here's a question for all you pub quiz masters out there. Name one English town that doesn't have a great British pub. We bet you can't. Well, to be fair, I know nothing of Britain, so. Even in the middle of nowhere, Rainy Woods is no different. 1977 will set you right with fresh ale, ice-cold lagers, and hearty stouts. So be sure to drop in and wet your whistle. Word from the bartender, just shut up and drink, man. Okay. Red. Also, I fucking hate mushrooms. Same. They are disgusting, and I will die on this hill. I'm sure you've already heard about the new photo sharing service that's taken the world by storm. Flamingo. It has a new type of system where you can make money through advertisement fees paid out by sponsors based on the number of emokes you earn. I thought it might help you pay off a little of your debt, so I made an account for you. Thanks, I guess. The app is also already installed on the old PC I sent to your house. Okay, a PC this old would not have apps. I mean, not in the way that we know apps. I find it very surprising that this PC can run anything modern. But... Be sure. Main quest, a photo for a flamingo. I'm pretty sure there's something important here that I haven't read. Oh, whoops. If you're reading this, you must have safely made it to Rainy Woods. I'm sure you must be exhausted after such a long trip. So exactly what sort of place is the happiest town in the world? I'm sure it must be like stepping inside a fairy tale. I wish I could go see it for myself. But of course, we didn't send you there just so you could enjoy a relaxing, idyllic vacation. We want to know why people call it the happiest town in the world. Drugs. The answer is drugs. I have already solved this mystery. I would like to go home now. Thank you very much. Uh, we are apparently in a lot of debt. That's a lot of debt. Don't worry, this is your chance to make that astronomical debt disappear in the blink of an eye. During your stay in town, we here at Morning Bell News will send you a series of job requests. We'll pay you handsomely for each job, so be sure to use a portion of your profits to help pay off your debt. By the time you manage to complete all the jobs, I'm sure you'll have managed to pay everything off. Okay. And of course, even if you don't manage to do all the jobs, as long as you can unveil the town's secrets, I, I already did that. We promise to pay out the full reward for all the requests combined. I'm rooting for you. Wow. Okay. Jeez. Jeez. Flamingo, huh? I hate apps like this, but if it'll help me make money off my photos, then I might as well check it out. I want to see what Watch Out is, but I can't... I guess I should upload a photo and test it out. I don't have any photos, though. <coughs> Can we talk about the fact that they call hashtags hot words? Hot words. I feel like that would actually be more fun. We should start calling them hot words. All right, I'm going to upload th this. Display tags. Oh, well, we didn't put any tags, I guess. Upload. Oh my god, it's gonna take 10 minutes. Even the internet out here is prehistoric. This is why I hate the boonies. I, I read that as this is why I hate boomers. <laughs> oh, thank you, guys. Hot words. It 
If I sit and wait for this to finish uploading, I'll be here until the sun goes down. I should head back to the town center and start doing some legwork. It'll take legwork to get there. Naeem is a professional photographer. If you find any subjects worth photographing, don't be afraid to snap a few shots. Oh, so many butt pictures are coming. Aim with left trigger, then press right trigger, take a picture. See, it's easy. Once you get used to it, try holding left trigger and using R to aim from a different angle. Okay, leave it to me. In camera mode, you'll see green plus marks next to objects and people if they're properly in frame. If you center in on an object or person, green words known as tags will also appear. Tags are important hints to help you complete certain quests and fulfill certain hot words. After taking a picture, you can press left button to check the picture and make sure it has the tag you're after. On Flamingo, there will always be a group of hot words. Hot words. Listed with hashtags. That can help you earn the most emokes possible. Try to make each picture incorporate as many hot words as possible in order to earn the most emokes. Hot words reset at midnight on Mondays and Thursdays, so don't forget to upload your photos before that happens. This is a... This, okay, listen, it's hard enough to be an actual quote-unquote influencer. Now I have to do it virtually. <laughs> SEO, got it. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm gonna, can I take a picture of my potato? Standard lens. Display hot words. Start a flamingo at home and check the hot words. Well, I'm taking a picture of this potato right now. Who wants to see a picture of my potato? I got one like, hooray, just like real life. Oh no. Everyone look at my potato. These are my, these are my hot words. Flower vase, jacket potato, yummy looking food, refrigerator, Naomi's homemade food, warm food. Wow, these tags are terrible. Um, it is displaying the actual date that this photo was taken, so that's a little disturbing. Do it. Okay, so our hot words right now are cute little birdies, potted herbs, household appliances, alkies. And fireplace flames. Excuse me. Yo, yo, everyone loves my potato. My potato is going viral, guys. This is very exciting. I know that you guys um, are on Flamingo right now liking this picture of my potato. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. It's just, it's just going viral right now. We are seeing it happen. And I almost made a whole... Well, I guess it's not a dollar, but... Close. Bed. Wardrobe. Dre okay, beauty care. The hell did that do? Oh, I want more clothes. Dang. Should I take a shower? I mean, not right now. I'm sparkly. Oh, God. This giant cobweb. Can I clean it? That's terrifying. Anyway, we gotta go find some alcoholics. I think you just dumped a shitload of glitter on your head. Yeah, that's how you look pretty. Were you unaware of that? Guess what? You can plant seeds in your garden. If you plant a seed in your garden and wait over a day, it'll start to grow. Once it's fully grown, you'll be able to harvest it as a material. Okay. Plant something. Potato. No, I want to put one here.
Okay, great. Let's go. Well, at least we're a lot faster now. Darty Valley certainly has changed. Yeah, it's looking a little different these days. And there's our rat friend. Hey, buddy. All right, we got to find the bar so we can take some pictures of alcoholics. Oh, hello, child. Are you an alcoholic? I hope not. How are you? Hey. I'm Naomi Hayward, a photographer from New York. Photographer? Um, okay. I'm Emma McCauley. Yeah. My grandpa's the vicar. Congrats. This is a cafe restaurant. I don't think the alcoholics are going to be there. Cameraman. Maybe we can buy better, like, camera equipment from there. Hot and cold drinks, wine and beer. All right, alcoholics, where are you at? I want to take your photo. Oh, another one was, like, fire, fireplace or something, right? Yeah. Hey. What if it, I just took a picture of the alcohol? Yeah. 10 quid says that little girl's possessed by a demon. I mean. Hey. Boy, now you look like a lass who enjoys a good bevy. Michelle O'Reilly, the bartender here in 1977. Feel free to pop in whenever you fancy getting fluthered. Like fluthered. Someone needs to translate this slang. <laughs> what does fluthered mean? Fast camera repairs. Oh, that's, that's foreboding. That means my camera's going to break. Is this my jump? What is this? I can do this? Why can I do this? Excuse me, why can I do this? Fluthered means getting drunk. Okay. run with the rabbit. I mean, I can't run very fast while holding anything. Oh, this rabbit needs to go to the vet. Excuse me. Excuse me. My rabbit is very sick. Oh, I'll leave that there for them. They'll figure it out. I cannot run and skip at the same time, which is very sad. <laughs> Why is that a feature? We may never know. I don't understand what the little arrows are for. Photos, maybe. I think you can take a photo of everything though. Oh my goodness, speaking of photos we need. Um, why? What do you want, Dickens? Seriously? Whoa, where did you come from? It'll be a full moon tonight. So I must ask you to refrain from going outside. Huh? Still a bit too early for you. Once the moon begins to rise, I must ask you to return home quickly and stay inside. There's fucking werewolves in this town? Why exactly do I have to do that? 
Because I've asked you nicely. That's why. You mustn't go outside at night. If you would. It's for your own good. Okay. Don't go out tonight? What if I do, though? I might not listen to you. I've been known to ignore warnings. She is a bit creepy, isn't she? I think X is attack. Eh. Great stamina, hey. love it. What's up? What's up? I found the talk button. Was it a warning or a suggestion? You just said that. See the new girl moved in. I'm is it Salome? Macaulay? The vicar. Benedict Macaulay is my husband and Emma. Emma's also your husband? Well, that's interesting. Clay and Charlotte are our grandchildren. I look forward to getting to know you. I look forward to getting to know if you're a werewolf. I guess we'll find out. I may not even be able to make it to my house before the werewolves come out, to be fair. Rat, you are gonna get eaten. He knows it. No wonder the rest of the world hates us. Look at this chick running around screaming hey at everyone. You don't find that endearing? An outdoor kitchen. Okay. I guess I have two kitchens. We gotta go post our photos. The fireplace flames was one. Upload that one and the tags. Alcohol. Alcohol. Alcohol is tagged twice. Okay. The scarecrow one we'll have to hang on to, I think. But look at this potato. It's just so fascinating. Hi, stargazing. 1,000 likes, right? People in this town are really bored, I think. Well, we'll see how this does. I don't think anything's gonna beat that potato. Girl told me not to go outside at night. That just makes me want to do it even more. Whatever. Time to go check it out the town. Well. Hey, wait. Where did my potato go? I made a potato and I put it here. Where did it go? <laughs> Tim. Alright, time to snoop around Town Square. Where are all these werewolves at? 
Oh my gosh, she's going. Look at her go. I don't want to go be like, hey, I didn't listen to you. <gasps> A hedgehog. Look at you. Hold on. Come here. No, come here. Got him. William's house. Who's William? Hi, I'm coming into your house. Hello? Hello? I came over to visit. I can't read any of that. Where did you go? Best snooping actual breaking and entering. That's right. See, I know how this works. Well, I don't know where she went. Maybe you uploaded the actual potato to the internet? That must be it. I should probably go check out the town now. I don't want to miss a good scoop. All right, werewolves, where are you at? What the? There's cats and dogs all, all over, over the, the place. place. Oh, she's gonna say this one. Where'd all the people go? Well, there was the bartender. town's been hiding a rather beastly secret. Now this is one hell of a scoop. Oh no. Uh, Elizabeth? Now she's gonna kill us. Uh, hold on! Hey, lady! Why are you the only one who's still normal? Urgent quest. As you make your way through the story, you'll sometimes come across urgent quests. Make sure you don't let yourself get distracted if you want to complete these before you run out of time. But I'm so good at getting distracted. How dare you? Ma'am? I have questions. Ma'am, I have questions. you Okay. Looks like there's something up on that church bell's tower. Maybe it's related to what's happening. Check it out, then send a report back to Morning Bell if I find anything. How the hell am I going to get up there? Ma'am. Excuse me. Uh, uh, well, it's raining now. It's Sunday! Witch's Forest. Is she the witch? 
he's the witch. He did this. Jeez, what's her rush? Where did she go? Gee, I don't know. Maybe in the in the witch house. Goddamn hellhole! A witch burn her at a stake. Do you realize what you just stepped into, sweetheart? People round here call this place the witch's house. The, the witch's house? <laughs> Bum, da, da, da. <gasps> what? Trelawney? <sighs> I'm Pauline Atwood. But everyone calls me the Woodland Witch. Okay. Huh? What's up? So what can I do for you? You smell like booze. Hey, we found an alky. Can I take your put? Can I take your picture and put it on the internet? Tell me where it's against the rules to get absolutely. Bladdered, bladdered in the comfort of your own home. I assume bladdered means uh, shit faced. Well, yeah, I guess you're right. You may you be, sweetheart. Let's go. You barging into my home at this time of night for? Her. Oh right. Hey, Granny, did you see a girl named Elizabeth around here? She's a quiet type with red hair who, who rides around in this crazy high tech wheelchair. Exactly. You're looking for a girl named Elizabeth. Maybe they're the same person. Who knows? Thought she was going to take me somewhere, but then I suddenly lost track of her. And all the other townspeople turned into... Ah! That's right. Something's weird. Something weird's happening in Rainy Woods right now. What's going on? Do they have some sort of device set up that makes people hallucinate? It's all the drugs. We've discussed this. Or is it the result of some human experiment? It couldn't possibly be real magic, right? What are you talking about, sweetheart? Uh, well, anyway, I just need to find a way to get to the top of the church's bell tower. I'm sure I'll be able to solve this mystery as long as I can get to what's up there. That's what my intuition as a pro photographer is telling me. I don't follow, but it looks to me like you've gotten a case of the Kali wobbles. I don't know what that means. Huh, well, uh, see, I have this debt, and... Hmm, I didn't realize she had a cigar this whole time. At least I'm assuming that's a cigar. I think I got just the thing for you. If you wish to solve all your problems, go and gather these things for me. You can gather them all before time runs out. I'll make a very special concoction for you. This is very sus. A special concoction? <laughs> concoction that'll make you feel like you could fly right up to the heavens. That sounds like drugs. It'll take you right where you need to yeah, go. Baby. Naomi, you're an idiot. Nah. So simple-minded. Yeah. Ooh. Three helpings of catnip and one tear fruit. Yeah. I don't know where any of that is. A picture of the mural from the area. She's going to give you a bottle of acid. <laughs> I think Collie Wobbles is confusion. Oh, thanks, Red. Picture of the mural, yeah. The mural contains the secret recipe I need to create the concoction. Instead of taking notes, I'd prefer if you just brought Seriously? me a photo. Okay. Wow, cool. This is just like an RPG. Oh my god. Okay, just memorize all the things. Good. One last thing, you got a time limit on all this until 8 a.m. You can only create the concoction tonight when the moon's surging with power. Creating the concoction at any other time will only serve to weaken its power. Okay. Yeah. 
Here's a little parting gift. Oh, jeez. The feeling you're going to become one of my best customers. Vitality pills. They're bitter and taste like crap. Okay. Insomniac extract. Special capsules prepared by the Woodland Witch for nights when I can't afford to sleep. Hmm. All right. Drugs. Uh, okay. I am trapped. Um. Well, we're gonna go this way first, I guess. So I guess the eyeball indicates how tired you are. Okay. Part one done. Now I'll head this way. I really wish I could jump over things. Can't, yeah, can't climb over it either. That is one quick timer. Yeah. I am a little concerned about that. But we'll just have to do our best. I really could use um, a skateboard, maybe. Catnip. Okay, I guess that's that's all I needed. So now we can go this way. I'm not sure why the music is so chill. I feel like it should be more along the lines of Banjo-Kazooie. That would be hilarious. <laughs> I feel like it would be more fitting. Oh, are you kidding me? It's gonna be my biggest... Okay. So now we just need to give all of this to her and fly. As you do. Hello? Yeah, I got everything. Okay. So she's gonna make this, um... Definitely legal beverage. Okay. Huh. 
getting sleepy. Bodman Potion. Okay. A lot of speaking in tongues. What the? What? Everyone's back to normal. Uh, How did we get here? Normal. Why? Good morning. Hi. Lovely day, isn't it? Oh God. Elizabeth. That's right. The church's bell tower. The witch's concoction is supposed to make me higher than a kite. <sighs> Time to give this thing a try. Why would you do this right in the middle of town? That was the thing that happened. Cat's eye sensibility. Proof that you've acquired the sensibility of a cat. Allows you to transform into a cat whenever you want. Okay. Your transformation into a cat helped to reawaken your animal instincts. All right. There's something in the Kool-Aid. Well, at least I can finally jump. Oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Noom. <laughs> 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 Use your animal vision to easily climb up areas that would be otherwise inaccessible. When you're a cat, you'll see glowing claw marks near buildings and walls. Okay. Um. Hello? 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 I can jump on her head. No, come back! Come back! I just bounced off of her. Ha! I have managed to float. Daring children is what I do best. To the house of God. Are you drunk? So instead of taking pictures, I can now just kind of like look around. Welcome to the house of God. Sir. Ma'am? That is a hat. What? Did what? I'm not seeing anywhere. To climb up. Ah. Spider cat, spider cat. Meow. 
ねねThe hell? Is that a cult idol? What? Well, I took it with me. Okay, so my next report's gonna be a real doozy, huh? Um. Ah! No way. Um. Well. This place. Goddamn hellhole. <laughs> what a strange reaction to that. Afterwards, Naomi returned to the Woodland Witch and told her what had happened. But the witch just feigned ignorance, claiming her concoction was just a type of natural sedative. The dodgy kind of substance that has somehow skirted the definition of legal. Well. She said she only made it up because Naomi looked so distressed. And it certainly wasn't capable of doing anything as preposterous as turning a person into an animal. According to Pauline, when Naomi saw the townspeople turning into animals, it was actually a hallucination caused by the stress of moving to a brand new place. Naturally, Naomi's client wouldn't be happy to receive such a report. You know how when you move and you start hallucinating people turning into cats and dogs? And so it seemed Naomi would not be free of her debts anytime soon. Keep your chin up, Naomi. Um, well, <laughs> what an introduction. In the 17th century, England experienced two revolutions, the Puritan Revolution and the Glorious Revolution. After the death of Oliver Cromwell, leader of the Puritan Revolution, the House of Stuart returned to power. Charles II, also known as the Merry Monarch, was next to succeed the throne. Charles II is said to have loved dogs and always carried one wherever he went. Relatable. He even posted a reward in the newspapers when his beloved dog went missing. This act was laughed off by his people as yet another one of their king's eccentricities. Proof that as a dog lover, Charles II was far ahead of his time. But being a dog lover was not the only thing Charles II was famous for. Wars against other countries, religious issues, conflicts with parliament, the Great Plague and the Great Fire. His government was constantly deep in the red, and even had to temporarily declare bankruptcy at one point. Just three years after his death, the Glorious Revolution shook England. I was kind of waiting for one of those rats to eat that child. Charles's legacy did not. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Even now, Charles II's favourite breed of dog is still beloved around the world. I mean, they are adorable. Prologue, part two. So damn slow. Time to check my mail. No soggy bottoms here. You haven't had a chance to try one of Miss uh, John Yee's? Happy scones, where have you been? Warm, crumbly, not a soggy bottom in sight. Is having a soggy bottom common in scones? 
To top it all off, it said these scones have the power to summon happiness to whoever eats them. What more could you want? Um, I really feel like all the food has drugs in it. If you keep walking east from rainy, rainy woods, you'll soon find yourself in the tiny fishing village of Eccles. It's probably not right. Used to be a tourism hotspot, so popular it gave rainy woods a run for its money, but now it enjoys a more peaceful existence. Isolated from neighboring towns, it retains naught but a glimmer of its past popularity. So lucky you, dear reader, that you should get to find out about it in this newsletter. Okay, well, if you ever want fish and chips, I guess. Don't go snapping photos for your social media profile and leave your meal unfinished. Not only is it rude, but potatoes and batter aren't good for the birds. Who will gobble up anything if you leave behind? Shrillish manners will not be tolerated. Okay. The church's statue. We safely received your report and immediately had our historical department perform an investigation on the statue in the church's bell tower. They determined it's a statue of the goddess Britannia. The goddess Britannia is an embodiment of England itself. She is referenced several times in the British patriotic song, Will Brit Britannia? That song is particularly famous for its repeated use of the word never at the end of each stanza. The history of the name Britannia dates back to the 4th century BC. Yes, the name is so ancient that it was once used to refer to the land itself when it was a Roman province. This name was later personified into the goddess Britannia around the time when Rome crowned its first emperor. If only there was a picture of the statue remaining, we'd be able to perform a scientific test to determine just how old it really is. Too bad. But since it was re reduced to ash due to forces beyond our control... I suppose there's nothing more we can do. Please try to protect our world's valuable pieces of history a little better next time, will you? P.S. Whenever you see the word never repeated like that, doesn't it remind you of a raven? That would be never more. Today I'm forwarding a mail that was originally addressed to you. Usually I'd forward it without doing any editing. But since the original author, Dr. Nicholas Anderson, had some social issues, I feared that his words may be misunderstood without some editorial adjustments. So I did my best to summarize his main points for you, just so you know the original mail was, a su was super heavy, had a ton of images attached to it. Concerning the architecture of Rainy Woods, upon performing an AI analysis of some aerial photography we did of the town, we noticed that the town and its surrounding area possess many structures that look similar in composition. Structures we have been led to believe are ancient constructions generally referred to as shrines, temples, or sanctuaries. I would like to gather some more data, so would you mind investigating these shrines for me? The closest shrine to you that has been confirmed to still exist is located on the hill that overlooks the town. Two, we have discovered that you will be unable to capture the shrines in the necessary level of detail using your current camera. We sent out some equipment that should do the trick, so please head to the local camera store, John's, in order to pick up your new camera. The store owner has already been informed concerning your work. I'm expecting great things of you. P.S. Yesterday you sent me a mail that only said full moon, oh my god. Did you send it to me by accident? Was it meant for someone else? Since long ago, people have believed that strange things occur on full moon nights, and there are also the legends about what occurred in the Balkans during the Dark Ages. But you can always look up trivia like this online if you'd like to know more, of course. That's it for now. Lucy actually went to the trouble of summarizing someone else's email. This Dr. Anderson guy must be royal pain in the ass. And now she wants me to go investigate a shrine? I feel like I saw something that might fit the bill when I woke up on the hill. Well, whatever. No point worrying about stuff. Man, can you imagine living like that? No point in worrying about stuff. Hmm. What a life. First, I need to pick up my camera. Okay. More curious about this new camera that the great and powerful Morning Bell was kind enough to send me. I bet it's a state-of-the-art mirrorless camera with high-speed autofocus. <laughs> Wonder what kind of lens it's got. Ah, I feel like a kid on Christmas Eve. What's Why should it be a Polaroid? 
It's Monday. Buzz, hot words updated. Okay, as written in the subject, your first job is to take pictures of certain inhabitants of the happiest town in the world and upload them to Flamingo. Of course, we don't want you to run out there and photograph any old person. First, we'd like you to start with the town hall employees. Everyone in town is a member of either Team Cat or Team Dog. You can tell who's on which team by looking at the icons next to their names. The townspeople will say different things to you depending on the position of Naomi's DC gauge, which changes based on offerings made to shrines, the quests you complete, and the first time per day you play with people as a cat dog, or the first time per day you interact with cat dog for villagers as a human. Some people will only offer side quests to you if you're on their team, so when in doubt, try switching sides and talking to specific people again. Okay. When you discover a new quest while working on an existing quest, a prompt will allow you to continue your current quest or pause it and start a new one. If you want to wait and start the quest later, you can choose save for later. You can switch between quests at any time through the quest list in the main menu. Okay. Selecting a quest may change certain characters' dialogue. So if you feel like a character should be responding to you in a certain way, try switching your quests up in the quest list. Okay, well, I need to check out the hot words for today. Rainy Town, household appliances, cool sheep stuff, rats, cute and fluffy. Man, that potato, nothing will beat my hot potato. Well, household appliances. Let's get a picture of the fridge and the oven. Let's take a shower. Feel so refreshed. All right, we should probably make food. Make that potato. Okay. I'm stuffed. Are you? Because your stomach says 50 out of 100, so I don't believe that, but okay. Tutorial book. Does this lady not like to clean the cobwebs? Well, this house was given to us. Um, and as far as I know, I can't. Okay, well, we have to wait for the potatoes. The bar below her face is the most important one. I did plant the potatoes already. I only had three. So what does that mean, Great Destroyer? The way she runs slash walks is quite interesting. I can do this too. Rat! Taking that photo. Da -da 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 -da. It's health as in well being. If it gets low, you start getting sick. How do I not do that? How do I not get sick? Ice cream. Hello. Um Sir, you have a problem. All right there. My name is Bruno Evans. I run a cafe called Mushroom and Evans. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> yeah. Mm, I don't trust this man. How do you 
do. Allow me to reintroduce myself to you. I, I know. If you would. You're being pretty sus. Is all I'm saying. There we go. We gotta get our new camera. They're expensive to fix, very inconvenient. You have to eat super savory food. Hmm. Am I supposed to go here? Oh, I have a scone. I'm not sure where I got the scone. Dead Bull, the caffeinated beverage that has the power to bring you right back to life. Can't argue with that, I guess. I was definitely supposed to get the other camera here, but... The scone fairy probably gave it to you. I would believe that. He's probably at the cemetery? Why aren't you at your store? The Downer Hotel. Wow. I don't even know what the cemetery is. can warp home. Well, that's good to know. Right trigger, speed up. Speed up what? Ha. Quicker now. Since this is just my life. Can I eat the rat? Yum. Num. Num. Come back here. Must eat rat. I can punch it. Small animal hide. Hide taken from a small mouse sized animal. Could be, could prove useful if attached to something else, but useless on its own. That's it. Use your cat senses to hone in. Well, that just made him disappear. So. This is why. There we go. It worked that time. Japanime, thank you for the resub through December. Hope you enjoy your emotes and your sub badge. Welcome.
Run, 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 run. And cleared. You said this person was in the graveyard tomorrow, children. With loving memory, return to the void. The void doesn't want you. Hello, hedgehog. Hello. We are truly blessed. You are blessed. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. Hey, sup? I was just a cat. Welcome to the house toast, of if you will. And this vicar must be one hell of an alcoholic. Yeah, unfortunately, that's not a hot word right now. <laughs> Compassion is king. Okay. Mm, I don't need a photo of either of you. Dandy Caterpillar. All right. Vivid Caterpillar. Did I buy food? She's looking kind of sad. Kick. Rare butterfly wing. If a person has a green exclamation mark by their name, they have a side quest. Okay. Got some catnip. Hello, small child. Need me, I guess? Healthy. I think what I want is healthy. Maybe this. Organite Joker. We have a lot of different things. I thought that said scab. Ugh. We have a lot of different items here. Let's go for the creamy potato soup. That didn't seem to help. Oh, I have to eat it. I sort of assumed that she already did. No, let's put it here. And then we'll eat it. <laughs> Stomach filled, max fullness, boosted. Okay. So we've got some, uh, like, perks. From that. Fancy and bunny. Virginia Yeats. Hello? <gasps> Wait. Is this a clothing store? I wanna buy other clothes. Ma'am? Ma'am. Oh, it's you. Her? <laughs> the way that the text. <laughs> Run Fancy and Bunny, a little shop that sells knickknacks. I'm actually a tailor, though. If you bring me the materials, I can stitch together whatever you like. Okay. Especially busy from midnight to early morning. What are you doing, Virginia Yeats? Can I just buy this stuff? P 
Okay. Tour guide. Lots of tour guides. Sheep! Cool sheep stuff. Cute, cute and fluffy. There we go. We're gonna have to Virginia yeets ourselves back home here in a minute so I can upload my photos. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. She's doing some night heating. Alright, let's upload our, our hot photos. Man, that potato is still my most popular photo. Potatoes. Harvest. Photo successfully uploaded. Well, that's good. All of my photos were. Oh, cool. That was part of the side quest. We got one person. I'm not allowed to open the door if I am a cat. Fair enough. So many potatoes. Yes, so many. Yo, Buzz! Look at this sick photo of a rat! Wow. I don't have the power to turn into a dog yet, so I guess we're just going to be a kitty cat. Mint seed. can plant that. Rosemary seed. Coarse beetle.
It's a construction company. We don't need just yet. We have over here another rare butterfly wing. This is fine. Don't worry about it. How is it full moon again? All right, I'll come talk to you, cat with glasses. Team Cat shop prices have changed. Hmm. Interesting. Punk Chihuahua. Oh, he don't like me. Rude. Innocent Border Collie. Oh, the puppies don't like me. Well, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. This looks like one of the Aristocats. This game reminds me a little of Portia. Um, this game is much weirder than Portia. Oh, the art style, yeah. Fluffy Chow Chow! Oh, I want Fluffy Chow Chow. But he he's not gonna like me, because we're Team Cat right now. I have no idea what's going on. Let me let me clear it up for you. Does this help? Does this help at all? Hmm. You want fight? I'll fight you. I'll fight you. Rawr. Don't show me your butt. Yeah, um, some witch in the woods who looks like Lada gave us a potion, um, and now we can turn into a cat at will, so. That's what's happening. I have not seen Rita yet. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because can't really take a photo of her like this. Posh dog. Oh, is this Virginia Yeats? Virginia. Or this might be actually be the lady with the hat that we saw earlier. Yes, I am morphing home. Stress plus eight. That's very relatable. Let's see if we can cook something. What are our 
options here. Probably a potato. Yep, the answer is potato. Woo! The answer is always potato. Yeah, I'm stuck. Let's check and see what's going on. Well, my potato photo is still my best photo that I've ever taken. Which seems about right. Closely followed by this fireplace photo. Still got rainy town, household appliances, cool sheep stuff, rats, cute and fluffy. Those are our hot words. I'm going to deposit the money. Yeah. Okay, cool. Because... Um, I assume that I would have to get money out of the ATM because I saw an ATM in town. So I assume if I need money, I have to withdraw it from there. Um, which I will need for food and such. No new emails. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm hoping that'll make me healthier. <laughs> Let's sleep for six hours. <laughs> Is this going to make me healthy? It doesn't because stupid. I feel like sleep should increase your healthy meter. When you start to get sleepy, you should get some shut eye in a bed or a tent. Whenever Naomi sleeps, the game will automatically be saved. Okay. Yeah, that did not make me healthy. What if I get pretty? No. Okay, well, we're gonna have to eat some food. I suppose. It literally only helps with sleep. It might help with stress, but that stupid stat is hidden. Okay. Let's plant uh, this mint. And rosemary. Basil. I think that's all I had. We need to get a photo of Rita, who I don't even know who that is. You're not Rita. The Great. We also need really badly to eat something that will make us healthy. The Why are you Why are you armored? Douglas McAvoy? Pigeon stew? Mystery meat pie. Cottage pie. Stargazy pie. Field mouse and basil pie. Red squirrel deluxe pie. Haggis, neeps, and tatties. All right. Chicken tikka masala. I might actually get that because it says healthy M. Dress relief. Might might get some tea as well. Let's get this. Yes. I'm gonna eat this right here. Because we 
need to be healthy. Stress relief and awakening. Well, I might as well go for the double instead of just the stress relief. Because they're the same price. Let's de stress. All right there. Dude, I just need to be healthy. My secret VIP dish. Mmm. This seems <laughs> sus. You don't understand the true power of shrooms. Amazing! Well. This is probably Seriously? really expensive. Oh, he wants to give me a side quest, I assume. Can okay. I I'm gonna save that for later. I'm gonna take a picture of my tea. You woke up a bit. Stress relieved. Okay, well that's that's good. That's what we want. Um, I'm gonna eat one more thing. For a little bit more health. Let's go with zucchini soup this time. Okay, so we are nice and healthy now. Thank goodness. I need to find a person named Rita. Oh, ho! Oh, I was yeeted. Hello, Thomas. What? What is? That? How's life treating you? The font. I'm Thomas Berryman! Okay, hello. Do you mind talking in a normal volume, please, sir? <laughs> Dear God. That man was like, move, bitch, get out the way. <laughs> yeah. That. I'm here to shop. What do you have? Ooh. Tomato seeds, onion seeds, butternut squash seeds, zucchini, a four berry pack. Okay. Um, well, so I assume if I buy these, are you just going to give me one? Well, why not just buy the tomato then? The toma buying the tomato is cheaper than the seeds, so why not just buy the tomato? I'm gonna buy all of them. Seeds usually make five. Okay. I thought so, but then it said stock th three, and so I wasn't sure. All right, so let's buy Onion seeds. Butternut squash seeds and zucchini seeds. So that we can make better food. Spaghetti! Just a box of spaghetti, I guess. Cocoa spread. Oregano. Isn't this stuff supposed to be disgusting? Anchovies. Just just milk, egg, pork. Okay. You'll find a lot of the pre-made stuff by kicking open barrels and boxes. I can do that? Once you buy the total quantity of an item that's available for sale in a shop, it'll become out of stock. Don't worry, they'll eventually restock. After some time passes? Okay. I will do that. I... He has a robot arm.
He looks like Danny DeVito. Hello, small child. Hey. I'm Naomi, a photographer from New York. I'm Charlotte McCauley. I live with my grandma. Well, that's great. Good to know. Are you here now? Can I get my camera stuff? Well, he shoved me out of the way, so Hi. he's here. Hello. I'm John Berryman, the town's number one tech specialist. I sell cameras and repair them, of course, but I also deal with a bunch of other machines and all. Um, sir, you just, like, hey. disappeared. Something broke. And nothing actually broke. That was a lie. Um. Hey. Near to shop? Um, so I don't have that. Standard camera, wide angle lens, old wide angle lens, telephoto lens. Okay. What about hey. let's chat. Hey. <laughs> I even put that sweet little PC at your house together all by hand. Sir, that PC is hey. like 20 years old. Hey. <laughs> I definitely had a quest to get something here. Okay. Let me switch over. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Cut right to the chase then. I finished tuning her up so she's all ready to go. Old standard camera. Thanks. Seriously? This is a used camera. God damn it. Morning, Bell. Could easily buy me a brand new one with all the money they're hoarding. No. 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 I prefer the term refurbished. She'll do a bloody good job. How could you complain about such a cutie pie? Cutie <laughs> pie. Gadgets are all cute in their own ways. Especially delicate, complicated sweeties like that camera. Sir, I am starting to wonder about you. Don't worry, I'll be here to fix her if she ever gets any bumps, bruises, or upsets of any kind. So be nice to her, will you? She's your work partner now. Trying to guilt trip me, huh? This man caresses cameras at night and I'm not here for it, Mr. Man Man. I mean, that's sort of what I was thinking. Fine, whatever. I'll see how far I can get with this lady. <laughs> now you're talking. You can purchase cameras and lenses at John's shop and equip different cameras at any time by pressing whatever button that is and accessing the camera portion of the main menu. You'll want a telephoto lens to capture faraway things and a wide-angle lens to capture more subjects at once. Used cameras are cheap, but they also break easily. When that happens, you have to get John to fix it. Okay. That's the hamburger button, as outside Xbox calls it. I like that, the hamburger button. Morris Downer. Hey, Morris. Oh my goodness. I call it Sad Man. Good morning. My name is Morris Downer. I run the Downer Hotel B&B. Due to being constantly pursued by the angel of death, I haven't slept for the past 30 years. <laughs> Look forward to getting to know you. <laughs> okay. Great. He reminds me of Mortimer Goth from The Sims for some reason. Anyway. He's an edgelord. He's a Tim Burton character. Where is Rita? Hmm. Rita's house. Okay. I don't know if she'll be at her house, but we can try this one. This one? Rita's house. I cannot go in there. He works at Town Hall. Uh, 
wrapping leaf. Mm. I don't know where Town Hall is. Happy scones. Oh, Town Hall's over here. Found a caterpillar up there. Can't wait to show Cat this game. She needs to see it. That's the construction place. Um, are you stuck? Excuse me. Excuse me, are you stuck? <laughs> Hello? Hello again, love. I'm Auntie Jan. Spend my time making yummy scorny wonies in my garden. When the weather's nice, I go out and sell them around Fresh town. Ma'am, you did not blend in that blush. Ma'am. Come, if you see me out and about, do come up and say hello. I did, and you have not, it did not save you. Auntie Jan, you're stuck. Hello again, love. I'm here to shop, maybe? Plain scone, mixed nuts scone, triple raisin scone. These are expensive scones, ma'am. Maple syrup, happy scone. Interesting. Egg. And then just egg. I can't save her. I tried and she cannot be saved. Scones aren't that good, lady. So that's the happy scone. So that's her shop. For sale. Can I buy this house? Okay, we're going towards town hall. Must be here. Flyer on bulletin board. Which house pharmacy drugs and prescriptions? Managed by yours truly, the Woodland Witch. <laughs> Great. She'll be fine, probably. Why do you have flowers in your fireplace? Good questions. Do you say I can kick stuff and break it? Can I look in here? Boxes and barrels. Uh. Um. 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 Could you guys not do this in public? That's going on, Flamingo. <laughs> I I come back after cooking dinner to this. Well, we found the secret. We found the secret of the town. Um, Could you guys please stop for a moment? I really would like to speak with you. I don't want to see this registry. I, I, uh, okay. You can look through the town registry. Okay. That's not what I was going for. Deborah Zebra 
That is an unfortunate name because you know someone's gonna say Debra Zebra. Or Debra Zebra. Finchykins the Owl. Okay. That's not, I, I'm not, I, how do you do? Hello. <laughs> Speaking of which, seems like you're really happy out here in the sticks, huh? Oh, but of course, after all, this is Rainy Woods, the happiest town in the world. Yeah, but it really seems like you've got the most bliss out of anyone here. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Hayward. It's lovely to hear you say that. I'm being sarcastic, doesn't she get it? Incidentally, Miss Hayward, I have a job for you since you're such a skilled photographer. A job as in the kind that could earn me money? Oh yes, of course. After all, you must know the saying, a penny between keeps friendships keen? I actually have never heard that before. Well, it was my brother that coined it, if you'll excuse the pun. Do you remember, do you remember it though? It could serve you well. Now then, let's get, get down to business. I'd like to have you participate in our town's PR activities, Miss Hayward. PR activities? What, you want me to go around taking photos of the town or something? Bingo. We want everyone around the globe to learn about the happiest town in the world. I'd like you to take a picture of the town and upload it to Flamingo. Okay, from what sort of angle? How about one that can give people a proper view of the entire town? You should be able to look down on everything if you go up the, to the hill beyond the church. You know you've reached the spot when you see the bench near the summit. Beyond the church? That's pretty far away from here. Do you let me know once you've uploaded the photograph to Flamingo? And I'll be happy to give you your reward right then and there. See ya! Okay, see you in a few. Hey, Melium! Um, I'll save that for later. So they are still inside each other. Ma'am, I just... I'll go sit. I'm Rita Barrett. I work at Town Hall. <laughs> Bowling Otter, thank you guys for the raid. I don't know how to explain what's happening here. <laughs> what were you guys playing? Oh good, more friends for the madness. <laughs> to commemorate our meeting, allow me to recite for you a poem. Great. The question, who are you, is the same as who am I? Well, that's definitely one hell of a vapid, pointless poem. So, they're still inside each other, and we can't... <laughs> Save them. Um, I need to get a picture of you, though. <laughs> so if you could just hold still. Oh, you're playing Hades? I love Hades. Alright, so I got a photo of, of her. Um... I'm just gonna leave you guys to it. You seem like you are busy. So, Cat is even here and the game is slightly broken. A little bit, a little bit. Oh yeah, I can transform into a cat. So that's something. Oh, she got free. She was stuck earlier too. She's free now. Well, I need to go upload this photo. You have cat powers? I do.
Oh, I also have some seeds I need to plant. So we've got tomato seeds. Onion seeds. Oh, it only was one. That is weird that you can buy a tomato cheaper than the seeds. Since it only gave me one. Got the zoomies. Sometimes you just get the zoomies. All right. Oh, check this out. My great picture of the oven is almost overtaking my photo of the fireplace. But nothing has beaten my potato yet. Okay. <laughs> I need to up. <laughs> I need to upload this, because it's part of the quest. I'll also upload this. True influencer energy, heck yeah. They even have hot words. <laughs> yeah, side quest complete. Thanks, as always. Yo, 65. British pounds. I guess that just went into my account balance. I don't think that went into my earnings. I love this photo. This might actually be my favorite photo. It's just called Sad Man. I'm uploading it. Clearly, you need to stop making gaming TikToks and upload potatoes. <laughs> You're not wrong. Deposit my money. Okay. So now that we've done that quest, we apparently need to get a bunch of mushrooms for that one guy. And we need to take a photo. So, we can go do that. He reminds me of Count Chocula. <laughs> Perfect. me to go there. This way? Yeah. Okay. You need to take a nice photo of the town. Standard lens. I don't think I have a different lens. We need to upload that. Check the shrine. You feel a strange aura coming from this shrine. What do you want to do? What? Teleport to another shrine. Warp home. Dog offering. Cat offering or oracle. Um. Or oracle. What the hell? Why am I hearing voices in my head now? Dutter. 
Shrine mission? Uh, okay. Listening to oracles at shrines will allow you to undertake missions that can earn you different rewards. A week after you complete one mission, you'll be able to undertake a new one from the same shrine. Are you crazy enough to visit every shrine and complete all the missions? Um, that is TBD. Take 30 pictures. Oh, that is a pretty easy mission. I feel like I don't need to focus on that because it already is taking into account pictures I've taken. Um, this was a different quest. I never did that. I wondered how you got shrine missions. Well, you learned something new today because I wanted to hear my, like, to hear from the oracle. You do have the other camera. How do I switch to the other camera, though? Do I have to do that in the inventory, or can I do that from, like, this mode? I'm going to make an offering to the to the dogs. So this is a shrine. Interesting. Very interesting. Nope. I'm stumped. These are probably cats and dogs, huh? And that's, like, a full moon or a new moon, maybe. A shrine dedicated to cats, dogs, and moons. Smells like a mystery, all right. Looks so old, though. As old as Stonehenge? Nah, it can't be that old. Yeah, I know what this is. I remember hearing about it in art class. <laughs> That's it. Celtic. This is Celtic style. Mm. Wait, no, maybe it isn't. Oh, whatever. It looks Celtic, so it's Celtic. End of story. Now to hurry up and snap a shot so I can send it off already. Cat dog shrines exist all over Rainy Woods. If you make an offering at a shrine, it will initiate you, which will allow you to fast travel to any other shrine you've been initiated at. Okay? Cat dog. Yeah, can we eventually transform into cat dog? That is my hope. When did you get here? Oh, no. When did you get here, girl? When somebody stands in the middle of Stonehenge, where do they actually stand? How close is the camera going to get? It's Is it going to... Okay, I didn't know if it would go through her head. Inside Stonehenge or outside? <sighs> that makes no sense. Right. And that's all right. You can barge into someone's living room all you like. That won't teach you everything there is to know about them. That's all I'm trying to say. You're a cryptic one, all right. But now that you're here, girl, mind telling me what went down that night? You know, the night when everyone in town got together and decided to have some freaky cat and dog party? That happened twice, actually. How come you were the only one who didn't join in? Why, that's a strange question to ask. Okay, then let me be frank. I was hired to come here and uncover all the dark secrets you're hiding in this little town. Why would you tell her that? So just tell me the truth. You know about all this town's mysteries and secrets, don't you? <laughs> you're rather direct, aren't you, Miss Hayward? Yeah. I can't tell you just yet. After all, you haven't made the necessary preparations. Preparations? What do I need to do? Is this going to involve a human sacrifice? Because I feel like it might. Why, it's simple. Just bring me what I need. One rubber sheet. Two pieces of patchwork leather. You want me to go find that stuff for you? <laughs> sharp as always. Yeah. Well, of course I'm sharp. You think an idiot could survive New York? Well, you should be able to have the materials crafted for your McAvoy construction. I'll finish this stupid fetch quest before you know it hit you. Music to my ears. I knew I could count on you. She's going to get herself sacrificed. That would not surprise me. That would not at all surprise me. So. We need to upload that photo to finish the side quest. And we need to find a bunch of mushrooms.
But I also want to make an offering before we do that. Make an offering. 100! No, no, no. I don't have that. I mean, I have it, but I need it. So. That's going to have to wait. Hi, Lacious. I'm here. I've not figured out that DVD cover yet. <laughs> Are you enjoying the game? I am. Yeah, I've never played Deadly Premonition, but I've seen a little bit of it, and it is certainly interesting. Sadly, the devs have not gotten back to me on Twitter. <laughs> They still might, Dalton. Who knows? Leap. It haunts you still. I think everyone in chat is still haunted by that DVD. Oh my gosh, how far away are these? I need a scooter or something. I love how you have this chill, magical music when this game is not that. <laughs> Woods? What the heck is that? King oyster mushroom. A chewy mushroom. Um, that's... I, I need a regular oyster mushroom, not a king. Can't be royalty, I guess. What in the heck is this? A blood altar? Well, we're gonna find out. Let's go see. Maybe it's a different shrine. Who knows? Because we can teleport to them, or between them, apparently. Click in the stick? Oh, it wants me to go back there, or this way. Well, I will, but I need to see what this is first. On the map? Click the stick? Ugh. I see a bird. Well, hello. Hello. Hello, man. How's it going? Let's trade. Blue cheese. Oh, he literally just wants to trade. Cheddar cheese. Okay. Well, bye. I need to investigate this. Oh, hey. It is a shrine. It's a shrine, but you feel no power coming from it. It appears that you'll need to donate one pound, okay? Shrines in the DC gauge. After you make your first offering to a shrine, you can then choose whether you want to make further offerings to the dogs or the cats. These will determine which way Naomi ends up tilting her dog or cat gauge. Your interaction with the townspeople will also change depending on which way Naomi's tilting, okay? So, now I can use this to teleport. Shrines are capitalist, apparently. 
the greenest of thumbs I will save for later, but I have it. Okay, so the... Yeah, that just means it's a shrine. Well, that's good to know. Hello, hedgehog. Wait, I want to take a picture of the turkey. I guess they gotta pay for maintenance somehow. It's Wednesday! Look how cute I am running along here. Hello, turkey. Gobble, gobble. Turkey, come back! Turkey, come back! He vanished. Turkey! Turkey, how'd you do that? Those terrifying turkey. Wait, is that a is that a horsey? Let's go see the horsies. <gasps> There's multiple. Maybe? No, that's not. What are you? What are you supposed to be? That's a big ram. Is the sheep still a hashtag? Maybe. Hot words. Cool sheep stuff. Hell yeah. Cool sheep stuff. You seem giant for a sheep, but... is this well we're still pretty healthy so don't have to worry about that we are gonna have to eat soon ish my word Nice little spot. Dill. Butterfly wings. Oregano. This guy didn't feel like doing this himself. This is quite a ways to travel. Well, it disappeared from the map again. Oh no, now it's back. What the heck? <coughs> I have this quest. Need like two more mushrooms and I play quite a bit. Yeah. They seem pretty far away. You need either to become a bird or grow a pair of wings potion. Become a bird potion or grow a pair of wings potion. There's a lot of walking, running just to get from point A to point B. Yeah, I mean, I can warp between shrines, but it would be nice if I could move a little bit faster. Kind of just finding them as I go place to place. Yeah, I might have to because these are very far apart. And unfortunately, it doesn't show you on this map, which would be nice. Let's warp home because I need to upload 
that photo. Apparently that stressed me out a lot. Basil. And rosemary. Okay. Can we make anything besides a potato? No. Living off potatoes. I'm stuffed. Well, cheap. Yes, so that. Once that's done, that should finish off that quest. We have what, 120 followers? Is that what that means up there? Oh, we have to talk to Elizabeth to finish off this quest. Change your garden layout once. Go to McAvoy Construction, have Douglas remodel your garden. Okay. talk to her right now, but... We can try. If it's grayed out, you can't. Well, it went green for a second. Oh! Perfect timing. Hello. Hey. I uploaded your picture it's to right. Flamingo. Captures all the charm of our little town perfectly as we're standing here in the rain. I'm sure that everyone who sees your photo will be clamoring to come and visit. That's what you want, isn't it? You may even become the world's most sought after tourist destination. You really like to daydream, don't you? By the way, that photo you love so much hasn't even gotten any emokes yet. At this rate, getting any kind of tourist action here is nothing but a dream within a dream. I did hear that it's rather difficult to get many emokes unless you're making sure to ride on the hottest trends of the time. I guess uploading pictures that match the current hot words is the best way to earn us a lot of emokes. Hmm, so that's the <laughs> trick behind it. Try not to dwell on it too much. Personally, I'm in, lo I'm in love with that photo, Miss Hayward. It's just very you. Uh, thanks, I guess. Now then, here's your reward. Look forward to seeing more photos that showcase our town's charm. <laughs> Thanks, as always. 40 pounds. Well, this is red. So, I must not be able to talk to him because he's working in the rain at the moment. That was a great combo to have in the rain. 
illness. Living an unhealthy life will turn your body into the perfect breeding ground for bacteria and illnesses, which can lead to colds and headaches. Eat well, sleep well, relieve your stress in order to stay healthy in both body and mind. If you still manage to get sick, make sure you immediately go to visit Dr. George at the hospital. You caught a cold. I'm like 50% healthy. This seems unfair. Is it because I was out in the rain? Is that the problem? Why is he wearing armor? Sir, why are you wearing armor? Sir. Ha! How are you faring? 50% and in the rain? Well, great. And where do I go to fix this? Dr. George's is what I remember. Yeah, but I'm not seeing that. The vet? Right. No. I'll see you later, stargazing. Have a good night. I have no idea how to say that last name. I just want to say fuckery, and I'm sure that's not how you say it. Fuckery. Hey. Is she like two doctors in one? I don't. Hmm. I don't know if I trust him. So you know, I already have a partner named Rita. There's no point in going after me. Um, Rita is with someone else. I have to tell you, I literally saw her and they were inside each other. So I'm pretty sure Rita has found someone else. Also, I am not interested in you, sir. Hmm. Yeah. Fix me. Once you're sick, you need to seek help. This is literally what I'm doing. $85? This is this is highway robbery. That's what this is. It's normally 100, but you're on team cat. That is ridiculous. Can I not cure myself with food? Cold medicine. What if I just get cold medicine? I'm gonna try it. Thanks, bro. Um. I'm gonna take this cold medicine. Cold cured. My cold's gone, hooray. Yay. That was a lot less expensive. So hooray for me. I wonder if I can upload that. I mean, I assume I can. I 
I thought you had to get them from the witch. I guess not. Downer Hotel is right. Okay. Hello. Go away, shoo. No. I will not. Hello, I am on your counter. Jasmine flavor tea. I might get some tea since we had some stress earlier. Okay, so we're good on health. It's exactly what I wanted. And now we're gonna have some tea. Let's just go for the jasmine tea. It's new. There we go. Relieve some stress. Though I still can't do this quest. I'm close to doing the 30 pictures. You can. It's, it's red though. It just means category? Oh, okay. I thought I meant I couldn't do it. Grayed out is when they're inaccessible. Okay. Hello, sir. How are you faring? Great. You got a pretty squeaky voice considering how big that armor is. Oh, okay. I need only thine ears now. Well. Sir. Mm -hmm. Want to remodel? The time is not yet nigh. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna decorate my garden. I shall spare no blood, sweat, or tears until I complete thine order. Great. I can put a beach ball in there? What a beach ball. Mm -hmm. 85 for a beach ball, right? Pickaxe? meant to dig through hard surfaces. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey! I heard I can buy mm -hmm. stuff here? Forsooth! But alas, fleshy mortals may not simply pluck materials from the stuff of dreams. I need one rubber sheet, two pieces of patchwork mm. leather. Mmm, I... In order to craft thy rubber sheet, I shall first requ require turbid sap. Elusive tree blood may be easily procured in the witch's forest. For patchwork leather, I shall require small animal hides, which may be ripped from the bodies of rats and vermin akin. Mm. Dost thou fashion thyself a hunter? Yeah. Well, I got that, sir. We need to get the sap, which is over here. 
FYI, anything you steal and put in your garden stays in your garden. That is good to know. Because I have been known to steal things. Mac, red squirrel meat. Tastes kind of like chicken mixed with rabbit. Great. Ah, we're back in the witch's forest. Speaking of, we haven't seen her in a while. Lotta witch! What's up? Stamina boost, stamina saver. So should make potions. Suspicious liquid. Highly suspicious looking liquid. Maybe something weird will happen if I apply it to something? Hmm. I wonder if it's different, like, would it turn you into a different kind of cat? Or dog, maybe? I don't know. Humanoid root. Mm hmm Yeah, I saw that. Great destroy. I have a lot of questions for this woman. What's that? She sells fudge. Hmm. And some pastries. Ma'am. Make some squirrel tacos for those big internet points. Hey, Scarlet Vixen. I am a cat. Wee. We need to attack another rat. Punch! Catch animals with animal vision. I literally just did that. But thanks. Whoop. Another beetle. Witch who lives in the woods likes page pastries. Hansel and Gretel reference them. Could be. Okay, rubber sheet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. 
Wow, you really are a pro. <laughs> Thanks, man. I've never seen someone actually make rubber before. Okay, mm -hmm. so now we need one more mm. of the leather. <laughs> Thanks, Douglas. <laughs> oh, I can smash these? Ah! Cocoa spread? Why was that in there? Ooh, a first aid kit. And cowhide. Anything in these? Did not expect this deep crafting. I never thought to kick people. You never thought to kick people, but then again, I'm not devilish like Keto. Listen, how have you not? <laughs> <laughs> Got up to get a drink. Come back to see Keto kicking some dude in the ass. <laughs> I mean. Did you expect anything less? Look, if you give me the power to kick people or to kick, I'm going to try to kick a person. No, I ran them into stuff to make them stop moving. Tim, thank you for the... What's up? It's me. <laughs> Here you go. What do you need all this? I'd like to use these materials to make a pair of light, durable shoes. Oh, preparing for an adventure? You need to be a size five, but I suppose in American sizes that would be a five and a half. But my shoe size is seven and a half. Anyway. I need a pair of size 5 shoes that are light and durable. Oh, Whatever. Silly me for expecting you ever explain anything. You can get light and durable shoes made of fancy and bunny. Okay? But once I'm finished with this fetch quest, you better spell the beans, you hear me? Okay, this is becoming quite the fetch quest. Thank you guys for the clips. I need you to do five more fetch quests before I tell you my terrible secret. That's right. The terrible secret is she is clearly doing human sacrifices. Like, you will not convince me otherwise. Hello. Oh, it's you. It is me. Need some clothes. Oh. It's you. It's you. Need a pair of light and durable shoes. I've got all the materials right here. What size? Size five? Sure, you look like you're around a size seven to me. Can you not look at my feet, ma'am? Oh, she is shook. That is a shook face. Just trust me. They need to be size five, okay? Made some pairs of light and durable shoes before, I suppose. I reckon I still have the special- I have the design for- I use for my special running shoes. 
cool. Aww. I want new clothes. Fine. Why are these shoes 85 cents? Wow, you really are a pro. Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! Oh. That's a lot of effort. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I could ever go to all that extra trouble just for the sake of making some extra money. What a waste. Making money is super important, you know, seriously. I don't disagree with you, but keeping my life stress free is more important to me. Nonetheless, I'm happy to make clothes and shoes for you so long as you bring your orders yeah. to me here. Okay. These shoes are for Elizabeth, Seriously? right? Seriously? Seriously? How'd you figure it out? Someone young enough to wear my special running shoes, unashamed, and with a size 5 feet. How do you know this? everyone's foot size, ma'am? Elizabeth's the only one in town that comes to mind. Seriously? Seriously? is not the first time she's ordered these shoes either? What do you mean? You're trying to say she has multiple pairs of the exact same type of shoe? Never once seen her wearing them though. She always ends up giving them away to someone else. Think she's got a bone to pick with me? Not that I care. Hmm. No, this won't do. Taylor's not supposed to pry into their customers' orders. Here are your special running shoes just as ordered. Yeah, okay. baby! Yeah, baby! very strange exchange. Oh, it's you. It is I, me. You can buy fabric from her. You can get dead bull from her too. And drinking? Extra legs? Pastime. Weird seed. Okay. Yes. They're different. Seedlings. Marshmallows. Tea leaves. I was hoping she'd have more. Oh. Sadly, she does not. Wait, Tim, what? Are you sure? Oh. 
Hello, ma'am. I have your shoes. Here you go. One pair of Virginia special running shoes. These really are a fancy. I don't think that's Jennifer original. Hale. I bet these are comfy enough to make anyone want to hop around like a bunny. Yeah, and I'm sure they'll look great on you, too. <laughs> Thank you. However, I'd like you to hold on to them for the time being, Miss Haywood. Why? I'll need them eventually, but until then, I'd like you to take care of them for me. Sure, if that's what you want. But you'd better tell me about the town's secrets now. Oh, yes. I'll keep my promise. But... But what? We can't talk here. After all, they might hear us. What? They? <laughs> Didn't take you for the paranoid type. What's next? Big Brother is watching? Let's meet in the town square at 11 p.m. Hey! I know that She's voice, but I don't gone. think that's her. Yeah, I don't think that's her. 11 Jennifer p.m. Hill. in the town square. First, I have to get her shoes, and now she wants me to go on a late night date. Talk about pushing it. Strange crest handkerchief. Crests. Midnight rendezvous. Meet up with Elizabeth in the town square at 11. Okay. Well, in the meantime, we could head home so I can upload this photo. Check on the garden. Harvest. 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 Weird seed. I don't know if that just means it'll be random. I guess we'll find out. Um, well this is done. All of a sudden. Oh, I see. When you harvest them, you end up getting... You end up getting, uh... Five. So it is cheaper to get seeds. It's not five seeds. It just yields five, which is fine. Also, my charisma went down for some reason. Congratulations on amassing 200 followers for a meager sum of 10 pounds. Will increase your upload max by four. Yes. Heck yes. Thank you. So does this mean I can delete stuff that's not doing well? Oh, I guess so. Confirm that the photos you uploaded match up perfectly with our list. I always knew I could trust you with this delicate research project. Next, we'd like you to investigate a different area. We heard that the happiest town in the world once had a booming tourism industry, but what about now? Our research tells us that there's only one inn, one cafe, and one pub in town. We'd like you to upload a picture of each establishment to Flamingo. We've already acquired accounting data from each of the establishments, so comparing those with actual photos of the locales should tell us a lot about the current state of affairs. Idyllic country town and mask... Unmasked as a tax evasion utopia. I doubt it'll win us a headline that exciting, but never hurts to dream. Okay. Save for later. Time for some beauty care.
you don't groom yourself as a cat or a human daily, your charisma goes down. Come on. Did it. Hello? Shoot. Be gone. Rude? Aren't you on team cat? No, you're team dog. I'm just gonna grab some stuff. I'm just gonna take these potatoes. Don't worry about it. It's fine. No one needs to know. Wrecked. A leak. And a zucchini. Don't worry about that. I didn't do it. Well, we still have some time. Go ahead and get a picture of this. We need a picture of that. We need a picture of this place, I think. And... The Downer Hotel. Look at him, he's going really quickly. Okay, here we go. So I just need to upload those. Cute. We're early. Hey! Hey, girl. Mm. Okay, so <laughs> I'll have to wait. Fine. Fine. I only need to take five more pictures. Watching you. Um, this happened. It's fine. I'm just up here, as you do. too far away. It's almost time. I'll just stare at you. Hey! Girl. 
follow me and I'll talk. Seriously? Yeah, anyway. What the hell? Fine, I'll just chase you down. Why did we meet here then? What was the point of meeting here? If I have to chase you somewhere else. English voice actor is a mystery for the main character. It's Thursday, Buzz. Hot words updated. Hey, hold on. Come on, lady, have some mercy. I can't keep up. I'm so out of breath. I should have never stopped going to the gym. Sucks. Whoa! Oh my god, what what the hell? Alexis, activate turbo mode. Alexis? AI, Alexis. Yes, ma'am. Now activating turbo mode. Excuse me? Hey, no fair! It's a Hufflepuff. Brother Badger, I I've got a proposition for you. Come on, just imagine it for a sec. A world without war, huh? Huh? Okay, okay, you're not the type for talking things through! What's that turbo mode crap? That psychotic badger. Elizabeth said, follow me and I'll talk, but I couldn't even keep up with her, let alone listen to anything she said. This is just great. Now what am I gonna do? Guess it's time for some legwork. Legwork's a basic part of any good investigation. At least that's what that one guy said in that Netflix show. Okay, so we can use Netflix, but we can't use Alexa? And who might know something? The Woodland Witch, the bartender at the pub, maybe that egomaniac of a writer. Pretty sure he said he was Elizabeth's older brother. The question is, who should I talk to first? So we have to talk to all of them. We're just out here, I guess. It is still raining. We're in a park. We ease. Where the heck are we? Oh, this is town hall. Okay. I know where I am now. Weird feather. 
feather taken from a chicken that looked exactly like Mrs. Jasmine. Feels strangely warm for some reason. Okay. Hello? Oh, there's one. Sir. Sir. Sir, I need to speak to you. Sir. Hey. Yo, ego. Need to ask you something about that sister of yours. Yo. Huh? Hello. Damn you! Damn you! Inspiration strikes! Oh my god. A perfect circle! Yes, that's it. Perfectly round. Gilded and radiant. A perfect circle. This is my next masterpiece! That will give this tale the true spirituality it needs. Okay. Oh. Hello? Huh. Um... Sir, if only the world knew that it was indeed the gilded perfect circle that bestowed you with your inspiration. All right, I'm out of here. Perfect timing. The entire fate of the human race hangs in the balance and only you can save it. Um, bye. Halt! Right now, there's but one thing I need. The gilded perfect circle. Only that can free my fleshy vessel from the physiological despondency that currently plagues it. <laughs> then and only then shall I return to my literary work. So you're hungry? Is he asking for a pancake? <laughs> Godspeed, young Hayward. A gilded, radiant, beautiful, perfectly circular food exists somewhere in this world and you must find it. I is, it a p is it a pancake? You didn't say it up until now, but you must have unconsciously added it on without realizing it. If you want me to buy you lunch, just say so. Indeed. If you insist on simplifying things to a horrifying degree, then yes, your interpretation is Boy. accurate. But I don't want you to buy me just anything. I need a gilded, radiant, perfectly circular food so that I may continue my creative work. You can't just do someone a simple favor without asking them to do something for you in return. That's right. I refuse to entertain any requests from another person unless they proffer that which I seek in return. After all, my time is quite valuable. You ought to be thankful that I'm giving you a chance at all. You're a real piece of work, you know that? A food that's golden, shiny, beautiful, and perfectly round. I guess the cafe is the first place I should look. Fleshy Vessel is your stripping name, Tim. Uh, that happened. That sure did happen. Take those. Take those. Okay. Let's check our hot words. Beer and yummy food, antiques, and nocturnal animal life, women in hats, and rock girls. Okay, well, I need to upload all of the photos that I took.
this count as women in hats? other ingredients now. I can make Naomi's random salad. Okay. Woo! Woo! I'm stuffed. Yum. Money. Hello. <laughs> you look like you're in a bit of a bind. Well, blah, blah, blah. Um. Gilded, radiant, beautiful, perfectly round food, huh? Perhaps one of my golden full moon fried eggs would fit the bill. Okay, so it's not a pancake. Of course you're out of golden eggs. See, this is why it sucks to live in the boonies. Will you make me one of those if I bring you all the ingredients? Mm -hmm. Of course. Miss Jan. Okay. Oh, jeez. This is really starting to feel like an old, decrepit RPG now. Okay, so we need to get golden eggs from the skin lady who was stuck earlier. Kind of want pancakes now. That's fair. You should get them. Live hey. your best life, Tim. I need your help, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> well, I'll be. Aren't you just the sweetest little thing? So you've come all the way out here to see your Auntie Jan. Hmm? I just need a golden egg, ma'am. Before you go, how about you try one of my little scony wonies? Just try one for me, my love, and I'll be happy to take you over to see Mrs. Jasmine. Does she treat everyone like this? You know, my aunt lady. Thank you. Seriously? For the golden egg. <laughs> Why is everyone so creepy in this town? Seriously? <laughs> Good one. Mrs. Jasmine is the only one who can lay these golden eggies, and she only lays them on the two days around a full moon and a new moon. Whoa, super rare. That's right, so don't go thinking your auntie here is carrying golden eggies on her every day of the week. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Good one. I first met Mrs. Jasmine deep in the northern mountains. The mountains up north are chilly willy and there's an old, old mine nestled deep inside them. Well, that's what the pickaxe is for. I went deep inside the old mine as far as I could go until I hit a dead end. And that's where you met Mrs. Jasmine? You sure are clever, sweetie. Deep inside that mine, I found another stone hinge. A what? And then I saw this big, huge vine. I don't like where this is going. And then I climbed up, up, up as far as I could go until I reached this gigantic castle. Mayday, mayday. <laughs> it was so big, gargantuan even, and so shiny. Shiny, whiny. So basically, you aren't going to tell me where you met Mrs. Freshly Jasmine. Baked. Hey, that was a true story just now, my love. Just don't quote me on it. I knew it. She's absolutely clueless. Okay. Hello again, love. Don't 
So she has golden eggs today. That's expensive, ma'am. Mm. <laughs> yes. Here. Golden full moon fried egg. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> this must be eaten while it's hot or else it'll all go to waste. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Deliver it to William. Well... Run, run, run. Oh, I need to pick it up? Shit. I always assume they just give me things. But no. I have to pick it up. You kind of want to buy this massive drug trip on the Switch. Oh, I have to... Okay. Well. Would wait for a sale. 40 is a bit steep in my opinion. Yeah, also, like I said, it's on Game Pass, so if you have that or plan to get it, you can play it through there. Mm hmm. Hey! Here's the golden, radiant, beautiful, perfectly round food you were asking for. It's even piping hot somehow, even though I carried it here in the rain. Happy <laughs> now? I said happy now. Hello. Inspiration Hello. Strikes. A perfect circle. Yes, this is it. It's perfect. Gilded and radiant, perfectly rounded. The hero's journey. Pathway to the stars. A tale spun by the human race since the dawn of time. The fantastic story of the infinite, never-ending circle. Hello. Oh. Well. Okay. Well, you enjoy that. <laughs> Whatever. Huh? Can't you see it? This gilded perfect circle is guiding us to the truth. From the far northern reaches of Siberia to the southern edge of Antarctica, the essence of the story of the human race. Uh, what? Basic unadulterated circle, the very essence of truth. It is both the first step and the very final step. How oh, did I never see it until now? My pretty young sister's eyes and the wheels of her wheelchair, both perfect circles. I don't This is my next masterpiece. Understand. My inspiration, my inspiration is burning me up inside. This hellhole just never quits. Does this smug asshole ever stop going on and on? No. How long do I have to listen to this low rent author toot his own horn? If there's a hell, I'm in it. We might actually be in hell, I'm to sure be fair. This food was still hot, too. Eating food before it goes cold is the polite thing to do, right? All right, I'm taking a bite. Just a little one. He would oh, notice. <clears throat> Holy crap. It's so good. What the hell? Something feels weird. Thusly, and therefore... What? He still at it. Happened. He just Not ate. Even the dogs can take it. Sounds like that dog's really far away. I smell something too. No, we're going to be the dog. It smells like roses? I didn't smell anything a moment ago. What the 
the hell? Now it feels like my body's super light. Holy crap, I I need to run. I feel like I want to run a whole marathon. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do it. A little run can't hurt, right? <laughs> I feel so light. Whoa. Drugs. This is why you don't do drugs, kids. Don't do it, kids. This trip took all day. Obviously, once Naomi turned into a dog, she lost the ability to speak. Seeing as we don't want to hold the story up, I'll translate for you this time. Hmm, yes, I see. Huh? Now I turned into a damn dog? God damn hellhole. Hmm, right. Hey, that's the handkerchief Elizabeth gave me. I must have dropped it while I was running around back there. Wait, maybe this is my chance. Now that I'm a dog, I can pick up a scent from this handkerchief. I can finally catch up with Elizabeth now. Okay. Booyah! Time to blow this popsicle stand. As a dog, you can memorize all different kinds of scents. Okay. It'll make it very e it'll make it way easier for you to find specific people and animals. Dogs fang courage. All right. Wow. What a sentence. I'll keep this on me, just in case. Okay, I can still jump. Follow the scent trails. Yeah, I've been doing that. Naomi isn't a professional dog. Okay. Well. Wow, she was at her house because... Stop fanning in about, Naomi. You need to meet up with Elizabeth before sunrise, or she won't tell you anything. Get following her... Tr I thought... Okay. All right, it just teleported me back here. Question mark? It's Friday, Friday. Ah, 
That's a that's a mouse. One of the dog's abilities is tracking like this. You can also use it to track animals if you have some of their meat. They show up on the minimap too, so it's good for hunting. Oh, girl, here's the badger. Press X to fight. Your power will vary greatly depending on what form you're in. It'll be easier for you to follow small, fast animals as a cat, and you'll be able to deal massive damage to large enemies as a dog. If you can seem to take down an opponent in human form, transform into a cat or dog and let your inner beast out. Okay. <laughs> Oh, so I can't do the do the cat thing. Badger meat. The dog is more of a brawler and the combat controls suck. Yes, I noticed that very quickly. <laughs> Unfortunately. I was hoping that I could still do pounce attacks, but um, no, there's a bunny over there. I just realized the mini map looks quite interesting right now. That badger's up in your face real quick, too. Yeah, exactly. At least as a cat, you can lock on and pounce, essentially. Minimap is cursed. That's Elizabeth's wheelchair. What could she be doing out here? Well, it kind of looks like she got kidnapped. What are those glowing things? Footprints? Hmm. Ah, crap. I'm getting a really bad feeling about this. Oh, are you? What would give you that feeling? Follow the glowing footprints. Footprints. Oh, shit. What the hell? Um, excuse me. is an Ophelia is reference. Shitty countryside. I think. Happiest town in the world, my ass. <sighs> yeah, she real dead. Maybe she'll come back from this the dead, though. Really is I could see her just sitting powerful. up slowly and being like, hey. Just slowly pulling the sword out. So, would it be fucked up if I did that? Calm down, just calm down, Naomi. <laughs> the murder rate in New York's gone down a lot recently, but there's still around 300 cases per year. Great. I should be used to seeing hacked up, mutilated corpses. I would hope not. I grew up on the streets. This shouldn't bother me. Oh, who am I kidding? I've never seen a real dead body before. I think I'm gonna puke. Now what am I gonna do? Pu puke, presumably. Who should I call? Wait, hold on a minute. Does this mean I'm the first one to find her? Am I gonna be a suspect now? I mean, we didn't touch the sword. Hey, you! Wait! Are you the one who killed Elizabeth? 
Wow, really? No. Do you do you really think that they would answer? Oh, not now. Damn. Oh, F. Well, now I'm gonna look really guilty. Photo evidence of the murder that occurred in Rainy Woods. I thought I'd caught the killer as they were escaping, but all I got was some weird lens flare. Of course. All you guys joking about her being a murderer or shipping her and I was just sitting here with a giant grin? Um, Great Destroyer, she definitely murdered people. Like, I know she was murdered, but before that, she definitely murdered people. Also, I'm assuming she was murdered because she was going to tell us the secret. So, you know, the, whoever murdered her didn't want us to know. Sudden narcolepsy. Is this the shrine? What the hell happened back there? Is Elizabeth really... Did someone really kill her? Well, we have the picture. <sighs> Shit. There goes the nightmare theory. It could be a long nightmare. What the hell? Why me, huh? Why does everything in my life always have to go wrong? I don't know. I think we could just be dead and in some kind of purgatory. <sighs> Why can't I just hit a reset button like, a, like when a computer freezes and reset everything? <laughs> Because life's a bitch. I know that all too well. God damn it. I mean, really, 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 really. God damn hellhole. Man, I really hate when I'm out discovering murders only to get hit by sudden situational narcolepsy. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Go on, take your time. Take a million years to load up the desktop. I'm in no hurry. Finally. Now to check my mail. Oh my god. Surveying your garden. Um. Okay. Say cheese. Why put up with your supermarket's processed dairy when you can go out and get it straight from the source? Simply take a stroll out of town and you'll find yourself in wide open pastures filled with cows. We like to purchase our dairy products directly from the farm itself. Good, good to know. You cannot buy dairy products from Burley's farm. It's a sheep farm, remember? Okay. The crest. We've just uncovered some more evidence to prove our theory that the Burley's Farm logo was originally based on nation crest. Crests are part of a very complicated system that requires expert knowledge to truly decode. After all, her heraldry is its own academic field. London even has the College of Arms, a corporation sanctioned by the Crown to act on all matters of heraldry. As you might imagine, while Morning Bell pr prides itself in its investigative capabilities in terms of heraldry, we couldn't possibly hope to trump them we don't even have any heraldry experts on our team in fact if we ever told our ceo that we had a researcher on our team who's an expert in heraldry she'd probably think for five seconds and then tell us to fire them by the end of the day okay well out of curiosity i did some searching found out that my family has its own turner crest maybe there's also a hayward crest that you don't know about crests okay this text concerns the details point C, which is listed in my previous email. Investigate the town registry. Okay, well, I know where that is. We should find out all we can about Elizabeth Dickens, so please go and investigate the registry at Town Hall. We sent out our own investigative team, but they haven't been able to uncover anything conclusive. She didn't have a single social media account registered to her name, which is surprising in itself. But we were also able to, unable to locate a single shred of travel or criminal history. On top of that, she has no registered fingerprints or photographic data. That town really does seem to be weirdly disconnected from the rest of the planet, like it's in its own little world. Because it's purgatory! It seems we'll need to further investigate the sword that was left in Elizabeth Dickens' chest. The photograph makes it look like she died from being impaled by the sword, but there's also a possibility that she died before the sword ever touched her. I mean, I've played Phoenix, right? I know this bullshit. <laughs> Our researchers couldn't locate any traces of blood on the chest area of her clothing, which leads them to believe that she was impaled after she died. This is Phoenix Wright bullshit. 
Impaling someone in the chest isn't exactly a sensible way to kill someone, nor is it an easy one. England has very strict gun laws, but 3% of families still own one. If someone was determined and thorough enough to potentially impale someone on a sword from close range in order to kill them, why wouldn't they just use a gun to do the job instead? It's certainly much safer, not to mention more lethal. Perhaps the impalement by a blade has some sort of ritual significance. Oh, absolutely it does. Human sacrifice. Similar to how vampires must be impaled in the heart by a stake made from white oak. Of course, any creature would die if impaled in the heart by any type of wood, but I digress. Writing about vampires reminded me many famous vampires exist throughout history, but did you know that one of the most famous vampires was a woman named Elizabeth Bathory? So are you saying that that this is that Elizabeth was supposed to be her? Glowing footprints. Find the blind veteran. I had one of our researchers investigate the glowing footprints you found on your way to the murder site. From the photograph, they were able to discern that the footprints were glowing due to a special type of moss. In your last report, you gave us information on the golden eggs as well as an old mine and another Stonehenge that somehow exists in the northern mountains. It appears that this has something to do with the British Army and the mine was mere camouflage for a secret laboratory where they performed experiments during World War II. The glowing moss may have some connection to this laboratory. We'd like you to analyze the sample, so please try and get a hold of some if you can. Our intel also leads us to believe that a lone veteran lives in Rainy Woods. Please try to get in contact with him and see if he's willing to give you any information. The idea of human bodies that emit light is actually something that's undergone a decent amount of medical research. Of course, it's hard to tell whether some of the data related to this genre is medically factual or mere occult occultistic fantasy. But regardless of the details, human bodies really do seem to glow a tiny bit in pure darkness, although it's nearly invisible to the human eye. Some say this phenomenon is also related to traditional Eastern medicine, but our researchers can't seem to come up Come to an agreement on the issue. Unfortunately, I'm no medical expert, so I can't comment on this issue at this time. Depending on the circumstances, however, it could be fatal. PS2. All this talk of scientific verification reminds me. Another phenomenon that has undergone extensive scientific research is spontaneous human combustion. It certainly would become one of the most effective ways to kill people, so I can see why certain individuals would invest money into that area of science. They say that wars spurn on scientific research, but it looks the same is true for the occult as well, Naomi. If you ever manage to pay off that debt of yours, feel like and feel like searching for a sacred sarcophagus, I can introduce you to some people who would greatly appreciate your help. Burley's Farm. Wow, looks like you really got your work cut out for you over there. Hope you don't mind me saying that this seems like a really big chance for us. Remember, secrets are always hidden behind something that appears normal. This murder incident, an extremely unusual thing for a quaint little town, may end up being the very thing that leads us closer to the secrets of Rainy Woods. I've narrowed the list down to three important starting points. Well, we already saw the other two. Visit the farm. The first thing you should know is that we came upon this clue due to some very bizarre, unrealistic circumstances. After investigating the photograph you took of the corpse, we discovered a... <laughs> So they noticed that I took that photo. We discovered a suspicious shadow located in the background on the right side. Our computer calculated it to be an object that was moving at a speed faster than 320 kilometers an hour. It also looks like a human being wearing clothes. Furthermore, we discovered a logo on the object the shadow is holding. We believe this logo belongs to a Burley's farm that exists somewhere in Rainy Woods. A shadowy figure moving at 320 kilometers an hour. It may sound like nothing more than occult nonsense, but since we discovered the Burley's Farm logo, I believe this is a clue worth investigating. Okay. Oh, jeez. How does she come up with all this stuff? I'm only one person here. How many jobs does she think I can handle at once? But she did say I can take care of this crap in whatever order I want, so I might as well try to relax and enjoy myself. So to summarize, starting point A, go to Burley's Farm. The shadowy figure I saw at the scene was apparently carrying something with the Burley's Farm logo on it. Starting point B, find the veteran who lives in town and interrogate him. Maybe he knows something about that old British army facility in the Northern Mountains. Starting point C, see what I can find out about Elizabeth at Town Hall. Judging by how prehistoric this hellhole is, they probably still keep all their information stored on paper. We've already seen that. Now the only question is, which one should I start with? I tackle these in order. A, B, C, you know. But it's no skin off my nose. Which order you do them in? Follow your instincts if you want. Go get them, Naomi. Lucy writing a goddamn thesis here. An antique emblem. Ooh. 
Okay, well, I need to... I have one more email. I regret to inform you that we failed to find any discrepancies between the accounting information and the act actual appearances of the three establishments. Oh, well, I suppose if it was really that easy to uncover the dark secrets of the happiest town in the world, our investigative team would have already finished this job by now. Next, we'd like you to focus on three individuals in order to research the average standard of living in town. All right. Seems like these three individuals play a large part in maintaining the comfortable standard of living that somehow exists in this tiny hamlet on the edge of civilization. Can you take a picture of each of them at work and upload them to Flamingo? Sure. So I've done some of these routes, they're quite long. That does not surprise me. I feel like I should start deleting some of these. We have 340 followers. Wow. I mean, for clout, that's terrible, I'm sorry. Hey, Celestial. Here's a body, give me those internet points. <laughs> um. Lobster! The hell? All right, which place should I hit up first? Hey, what's your game? Did a whole pose and everything. That's supposed to be a pose. You think I just walk around like this? Yeah, frickin' idiot. <laughs> You're killing me here, making me make up my own punch lines and everything. The least you could do is freeze and say, who the hell are you or something. Okay, so who the hell are you? <laughs> the name's Daniel Miller, a real doer, a journalist who makes the whole freaking world his oyster. Guys up at Morning Bell sent me here to give you this little cabbage patch, a proper journalistic shakedown. Seriously? Hey, that's my job, bitch. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he's from Boston. <laughs> Some guy named Nicholas Anderson gave me the job. Mailed me himself. The subhuman that calls itself Naomi Hayward cannot be trusted. I need a proper journalist to handle this case. Okay. Yeah, I thought he went too far with the whole subhuman thing. But now I get it. You're missing all the punchlines. Better watch it, New Yorker. <laughs> New Yorker. You're gonna be eating my dust before you even know I hit you. And then you'll never be able to pay off that big ass debt of yours. Yeah, real scary, Damn ain't you. it? Damn you! Did you just come here to annoy me? Mind your own damn business. Sorry, yuppie, but no can do. See, we're rivals now. Only one of us is gonna get the chance to expose this town's secrets to the whole frickin' world. Lobster! Lobster! <laughs> Dead unless you've got some cash on you. Did someone say cash? <laughs> Hello? Oh my god. Who are you? Hmm. Pro debt collector Hugh Lee at your service, but you shouldn't concern yourself with my name. I mean. <laughs> okay. Hi, Mr. Bubbles. That's what I was thinking, DJM. He does look like Mr. Bubbles. Um, yeah, I have a quite quite a debt. I don't need you to tell me. From this day forward, you'll be under my supervision until you're able to fully pay off your debt. Okay. So don't even think about running away from this town or trying to assume an alternate Damn identity. You. Damn you. 
Never what? Never let yourself get into debt? You can't deceive me because I don't trust you at all. You must live a sad life. Anyone can live comfortably as long as they have money. In other words, only money is truly capable of isolating people. You sure about that? The rules are simple. If you ever want to leave this town, you need to pay off every last bit of your debt, okay? Okay, okay, you made your stupid point. Then get busy, Miss Hayward, and start making money. Don't keep me waiting. Okay? First, there's a murder. And now, I've got some lobster asshole and a pro-debt collector to deal with. Goddamn hellhole. <laughs> the hell? Your transformation into a cat helped to reawaken your animal instincts. The dog's fang courage has been added to your key items. Don't you think it should say your transformation into a dog? I think that's a typo. Okay. Press the hamburger button to open the map. All right. What an adventure this has become. We've almost taken enough pictures. I mean, our exploitative photo is doing pretty well. Even though this one's got buzz. This game understands the sadness of social media. Okay, I want to save. Did that actually save? I hope so. Uh, cause it's almost midnight. So, I need to call it here. This has been quite an adventure. Um, how do you guys feel about it thus far? I mean, it's insanity. I'm enjoying it. Well, that's good. This is the thing, Red. I'm intrigued as shit. Having great time. Looks fun in a slightly wacky way. Gameplay wise, not great, but it's pure what the fuck. That is true. I wonder how long the game is in total. We might revisit this. <laughs> 